Make sure to use star code Kristen when buying Robux. All the links for my catalog items can be found down in my video description. Hey everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. You guys, we actually are going to be checking out what could possibly be the future and some future updates here in Adopt Me. Like, you guys are not ready for what you're going to see. <laughs> so I am going to be telling you guys also some of the things that I think needs to be implemented into Adopt Me. There's quite a few things that I absolutely would die to see in Adopt Me. So before we get started of course make sure to give today's video a big thumbs up make sure that you guys are subscribed and let's go ahead you guys and just get started my fairy godmother video that I posted yesterday if you missed it definitely make sure to head over there because actually notifications did not go out to that great <laughs> but I actually am starting a new thing where if you guys comment a joke of the day in the comments you actually have a chance of getting your comment added to a video and a comment showed out so you guys will be able to see that and of course you will see that in today's video as well so some of the things that I definitely think need to be added into Adopt Me is multiple pets, you guys. I feel like we need to have at least two pets be able to trail behind us. But honestly, I feel like three or four would be amazing. Especially four because it actually takes four to make a neon. So I feel like we should be able to equip four pets at the same time. I also think, we're actually gonna go outside for this one. But you guys, I also think that we should have different places that we can live. I feel like we should be able to teleport to different realms like if you want to maybe live in space I mean space pets that could be a thing that is like really super cool what type of aliens and stuff would you guys I mean we could even have a space rock pet you know a rock pet a space rock <laughs> but yeah so I feel like we should be able to live maybe like underwater in space maybe in a desert maybe in some snowy clouds but you guys what we're gonna be doing we are gonna be checking out a new video from um, forever sparks you guys know I absolutely am in love with their content every single time Time they post one I'm actually like very excited because there's so much attention to detail and you can tell that these videos really take a lot of work to do so I will be making sure to leave a link down in the description you guys definitely make sure to head over and give their channel some love so with all of that said you guys let's go ahead and get reacting okay so I did turn the sound off because I'm not exactly sure with copyright and all of that stuff okay so this video, I will leave a link in the description. So this is the video that Forever Sparks created with a thousand years ahead of time in mind. So apparently a thousand years from now, this is how they picture Adopt Me to be. So the first thing, view people's wish list. I think this would be epic. So what you need to do, how they have it is you click on the person, Click view wish list and it'll come up everything that they want. I think this would be so amazing, especially for like trade servers and stuff. I think for a lot of players that do a lot of trading, this would be an epic game changer. You could just kind of go up to people and you would know if you had to take the time to like do a trade. Okay, so then you click on view wish list and you guys can see all of the items that they have selected for their wish list. I think this is pretty cool. I love that they have that you can edit it. So maybe if you get that item, it will automatically be removed. Or if you just decide you're not into owls anymore, which, what? <laughs> Why wouldn't you be? But yeah, this would be such a game changer for players that do go on Adopt Me for trades, or even if you go on to trade servers. I think this would be so cool, and I think a lot of players would really enjoy this. So all you would need to do is like click on the person. This is myself. So obviously there's going to be no menu, <laughs> but usually you just click on somebody else and you can like click to trade, but it would be really cool if we had that feature like they showed 
where you have the option to check out their wish list. Joke and comment of the day comes in by Amani. Why can you not give Elsa a balloon? Because she will let it go, let it go. Which one is fast, hot or cold? Hot, because you can catch a cold. Okay, so second, furniture storage. I love, love, love this one. They actually have this in Club Roblox so that you're not actually losing your money. So you guys know one of my biggest pet peeves as a builder in Adopt Me, and I'm sure you guys all feel the same, is if you spend, for example, like $1,000, or even if you spend $10,000 building a home, if you don't actually delete it that day, over time, you're basically gonna get $200 back. So you're really losing money if you build and delete a lot of your homes. So if you were able to, even some of the rare items, even like the potions that can be like astronomical prices that I don't even own some of them. Like the teleporter, I feel like if you had an inventory so that you could place that teleportation in like some of your other homes if you switch them, I feel like so many people would really love that and maybe even do more building because you're gonna be able to save your money. So yeah, definitely love that one. Okay, select a job. I feel like everybody's gonna be obsessed with this one. Select a job, what do they have here? So nursery stuff, work shifts and earn bucks or a pizza shift, work shifts and earn bucks. Okay, I love this. <laughs> I really, really hope eventually that Adopt Me will be adding jobs and I know that it's kind of controversial. Like a lot of people don't really want jobs in Adopt Me, but I kind of feel like it would change up the, like it kind of feels like you do the same thing every day in Adopt Me, where if you want to earn bucks, you age up your pets. But I mean, if you don't have any pets that you're looking to age up, it can be a little bit like not much going on. So I think having jobs to earn money could be really, really cool. And I would love to see like more stores and shops jobs in Adopt Me as well. Okay, number four, pick who you can teleport to you. Ooh, I like this. Okay, who can teleport to me? Everyone, friends, or no one. And number five, new pet needs. This one is where it's at for me. <laughs> I would love to see more interactive stuff where you could use the washroom and even if like your kids could use the washroom, read a book, just like some different things to maybe have them age up, earn bucks, and especially with pets, like I just feel like this could be really awesome. I feel like out of all of them, you guys, this one, might be one of the soon to be updates that we get especially when it comes for interactive furniture right now when it comes to like refrigerators toilets bathtubs or I guess no bathtubs don't count <laughs> but sinks it really doesn't do anything in your home but I do feel like eventually we will be seeing this interactive furniture all right you guys so there is the new video from forever sparks I definitely wanted to get on here and kind of react to it and give you guys some of my opinions on what I think should be coming to adopt me but yeah definitely would love to see more places to live and explore in adopt me like maybe you have to go to space and if you go to live in space maybe that is how you are actually able to get like a different rare type of pet there as well but definitely make sure to let me know in the comments you guys what was your favorite possible future update in adopt me let me know in the comments also make sure to comment all of your jokes to possibly have yours featured in an upcoming video <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'm gonna see you all next time bye guys